Hi there, me again. Um, topic of the day, daydreaming. Um, have you ever noticed we all have like really cute self-deprecating names for our crafts and craft spaces? You know, we, well, you know, I just, I just scrapbook, I just knit. Why don't we take ourselves more seriously? This is art, no matter how good or bad, how simple or difficult, it's art that we're creating. And we should honor that and be proud of that. So, and the reason I feel this way is that I realized that that's what I was doing. I was really holding myself back from doing the best that I could because I wasn't taking what I was doing seriously. And I wasn't, I think a lot of it was because nobody else took it seriously. So, you know, it was kind of like, what did I think I was better than everybody else? Well, no, I didn't, but I think I could be better than I am if I, and, and, and to do that, I had to admit, I'm an artist. At some things, I'm really great, and at some things, I'm mediocre, and sometimes I just do it for fun, and I never share it with anybody, because it's pretty bad. <laughs> anyway, so why can't I see myself as serious? Um, I've been doing this for 20 plus years. This is no longer beginner. I'm serious. I'm a serious artist. Well, I try to be. And then I start, made a really big change. And it was a simple change, but it was a big change. I went and ordered business cards. And I think they're pretty cute business cards. They don't really tell people much of anything, except that I have given myself a title. And it is a paper artist and blogger. My crop room is now called Studio. I'm never going to get rich or famous. Um, but the fact is that what I create is important to me. So I need to be serious about it. To a certain extent. Still got to find the joy. But it's easier to find the joy when you're not being so self-deprecating all the time. It's easier to say, look what I did. Instead of, oh, I just did that. So... I want, I, I am, while we're doing this whole organization thing, um, a good reason to do it is just to get rid of the clutter in your, in your space. Because you, can, you can't do your best work when you're surrounded by clutter. And uh, so that's why the challenge is so important. But it's also time to do a little daydreaming right now. What would your perfect studio look like? Make some sketches, get some color swatches, whatever. Jot down ideas, go through magazines. There's websites and uh, all over the place for this. Um, we're not going to accomplish it all. You're not going to do it all this time unless you just came into a fortune. But the thing is that by doing this daydreaming and doing a little bit of research, you're going to make less false steps. You're not going to change the way you store, store your paper six different times because each system didn't work. But do the dreaming now and uh, do the research now and figure out what will work best for you. Not for me, not for anybody else that's doing this challenge and there's a lot of us. Um, do it for you. And you also wanna make sure your room brings you joy. I'm in an apartment where there's a big problem with painting walls because then you got to paint them all back to the original color, blah, 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 blah. And so instead I've chosen to put my favorite things around me. And that's what brings me joy in my studio. So find ways to decorate your studio to bring you more joy. Um, I put up some paintings I've done, paintings from favorite artists, um, especially local artists. And uh, I even have a Raptors pennant in here because, you know, it's a thing. So these things bring me joy, and so they have to be here. I'd love to hear um, what you think your problems areas are, what, how you think you would like to do each step of this project. Um, don't buy anything yet. This, this comes later. This is a step-by-step -step process. But it's a good time to dream and enjoy it. And I'll talk to you later.